Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Wealth Around Us. Today I wanted to talk about uh, something a little more high-tech than I usually do, and uh, some of you noticed about me, but I, I do computer work, and uh, just want to talk about today about uh, what, what we're going to do in case of, you know, I'm not a big subscriber to the 2012 theories and all this, and these, you know, Nibiru, and God, some of these theories I've heard out there. But one thing I do know is that, you know, a lightning strike or a storm or an EMP of some type, be it coronal mass ejection or this and that, yada yada, uh, what I've done about it to ensure that my computers are going to be at least operable if damaged. Or maybe even, I mean, if I'm mean, damaged by a bullet fragment or something like that. And the way I've done this is just the way I built the machine in particular, but, uh, I'm going to take you over here to the uh, monitor number two and show you what happens when you boot my computer up. Now this is a specifically Asus target type uh, brand idea. But uh, as you can see this express gate is like an operating system before the operating system. And all this is hardwired in. I mean this is all ICs and stuff like that. And these, this all metal case is grounded with a special copper wire of the one of the anchor bolts on the back that keeps this side door on there's these big ball I don't know if I have one yeah I don't have one but um it, it's gotta have to take it off there for you but there is a copper wire that's running straight from that grounded case all the way down to the ground so this thing is positively insulated from a surge should a surge you know like an external surge occur on the device, but uh, getting back into it now. This is Asus Express Gate, and it has like web browser. I haven't tried any of these right here, but you can use your you mess with your memory cards and photos and phone and stuff. Uh, you can even get on Skype with it. You can use it for uh, your different chat services. But this is all flash based, uh, chip based hardware stuff. This is on the motherboard in its own sector, and it is standalone from the uh, rest of the computer. Very cool little thing. They got their own uh, Google browser. Uh, works just as good as Internet Explorer or anything else you need to do. And uh, say you do have Internet or, you know, there's still some kind of connectivity there, you'll be able to get on your computer online and get files and stuff, say, if it's crashed or if you need to upload a new boot sector to your Windows because, I mean, God knows there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to mess with computers and have had lots of computer problems. But... Uh, Fortunately, I'm a prepper that does know a little bit about technology, and so I thought I'd share some with you. Okay, let's get out of this. Uh, it's got a Skype. It's got a chat. you got to put in your uh, I IMs like AIM or, or Yahoo or whatever you do. I haven't configured that yet. I probably should. And uh, this is all. It's just basically this is just an operating system under an operating system. And I'll show you what happens when you exit. This happens every time I boot this thing up. You'll get this uh, Asus Express Gate. It stays in there for 10 seconds. So you can go, you know, hey, and, and uh, yeah, I want to use you. Or it just boots right up. So there you have it. we got redundant operating systems. Thanks for watching.